All right, guys. Here we go. This is a video from Repsion. It's called Gabby Hanna Needs Help. Hashtag charity. Oh, listen. It's interesting. The other day. The other day, somebody said, I, I actually saw that, like, apparently Gabby Hanna had, like, a meltdown on, on Twitter. Excuse me, TikTok. I, they, like, why does everything have to start with T? Twitter, TikTok, t Twitch. Like, I can't do it anymore. Anyway, Gabby had a bit of a meltdown, right? Where I think, like, she posted 100 to 150, maybe even 200 TikToks in a span of 24 hours. I was like, but I didn't know this. So I said, guys, where's the Gabby Hanna meltdown video? And they said it's all over TikTok. But please tread carefully. Everybody's being like, tread carefully when it comes to Gabby Hanna. She's clearly going through something, which is probably true. And we're going to look through it. All right. But I do have a little bit of, I will say, I have a little hard time believing that Gabby's genuine. Because, you know, I, it's just hard to be like, oh, all of it's real. And when you have somebody who's like terminally online and like, they get views when they act insane and it's like how much of it is an act versus how much of it is real and then like but maybe their life is so ingrained into the um into this like the like the culture of like you know looking crazy basically the youtube culture and being like that center of attention maybe she's just like so warped into it that it becomes more genuine it's crazy you know what i mean it's like hard to figure out. it's like it's almost like we're watching like almost a soap opera and it's really unfortunate because there's probably some real re, uh, realness to her to her plight but let's just watch it you know let's watch that's why i didn't talk about it while i was also on vacation but that's why i was like let's let's we'll wait for somebody uh we'll wait for somebody to put all everything together repsy on here of course you should probably watch the actual video instead of my video but you know that's not why you're here <laughs> That's why, you know, it's not why you're here, brother. All these people have no idea what they're talking about. I have oh, yeah, this dude broke into her house, right? So they feel like you're uh, you're going to jail for all that. I don't know uh, what law you broke exactly, but you definitely did something wrong. A video of her inviting me in. I would I will post it directly after this one. Um, like a vampire. She asked me to leave. I left voluntarily. Everything that happened in there was completely legal. There was nothing illegal about what I did. I was invited into a home and left when requested. Damn, you I mean, that's crazy for her to do. If that's true, to invite somebody into your house that you don't know. But then, like, yeah, nothing he did would be illegal at that point. It would be a really big, like, warning flag from her part. Like, she's definitely got something going on. But, like, he technically didn't do anything wrong, I guess, you know? Clicked on this video expecting me to roast or make fun of Gabby. I am sorry to disappoint you, but that will not be happening in Roaster. this video. If you want to see that happen, you can go to my episode one and episode two that I made last year. Um, they're very informational videos. They cover a lot of stuff that happened with drama and people she was involved yeah. with. This is yeah. a very, very serious video. In the last 24 hours, Gabby has uploaded over 150 TikToks. For those of Jesus. you who don't know, she's been kind of just disappeared off of the internet and then randomly popped back up with a large spree of very concerning, um, scary, not an exaggeration, TikToks of just complete tangents and, and rants that don't make any correlation or any sense to one another. And as of right now, I have a total of 60 TikToks downloaded that we're going to go through chronological in order. By the end of this video, it gets within the last two hours of me filming this uh it's been very 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 concerning and dangerous because she let a random person stranger into her house yeah. um we'll get to that near the end of this video however a lot of her tiktoks had isn't that crazy that guy's probably just like oh my god this is great content but while well, she's having like a legitimate like existential crisis it's horrible copyright music so i'm only using the ones where she goes on her rants without that music in the background also in the right or left i don't know which one there is a mental health fundraiser i'm donating a hundred dollars to start out with the sponsor i'd like to raise over one thousand dollars to this organization which helps branch out and get people help who are Honestly, I'd be more willing to like donate to Gabby Hanna if she left her OnlyFans up. Because then at least I'm getting something. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's going to be so many people that watch this being like, oh, Papa Gut, we're expecting a really serious video. Why are you being such an asshole? I I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm really sorry. Okay? I know you're disappointed in me. I'm really sorry. Okay? I, re I really mean that. I really do mean that. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry. In need of it, you maybe can't afford it. The money you donate on the right or left goes directly to the organization. I don't touch it. I'm starting off with donating $100 from the sponsor of today's video. So let's begin. So last night, I literally was given heaven. I got one day in heaven because wow. I let go and I trusted God as hard as I could and I just let it happen. Wow. And He gave me heaven and wow. it was insane. It was everything. Pretty typical bullshit, uh, you know, religious uh, stuff. But okay, cool. They say I'm better. I can do whatever I wanted. Cool. And you know how I spent my night, like, for real on God? I had no idea what was coming. I just knew I had to do what felt right. So I went outside, and I fucking screamed my fucking lungs out. The answers on how to save the world, and how I felt in my backyard, 
was that all my neighbors could hear me, but only from their own homes. Wow. And that I had the power to go and touch everybody I could that needed a hug and send them the love that I know exists. This is a great question and one I kind of get often. So I'm an artist. What's your job? I mean, she probably has so much money that she doesn't even necessarily need to do anything for work anymore, right? I'm a poet. I sing. I write. My main focus the last oh. few years has been music. I also love painting. Me I love too. drawing. And things, my so, yeah. long-term goal is to be a public servant and philanthropist. All of this. Yeah, it sounds a little like Demi Lovato. Bro, there's like a real like uh, thing where people like, I don't know, man. Like there's some crazy ass shit going on. I'm going to die here. They, I don't know, dude. Did you see that Demi like actually was like, I don't think I'm trans anymore. Like she, I, I think that she was just going through like a crisis and she was, or she uses she, her pronouns now. And like, I guess non-binary, like being non-binary was like the best, made the most sense to her, but it wasn't really what actually made the most sense. You know what I mean? I think it's self-diagnosing almost kind of a thing. This is hopefully leading to that. It feels like art is my avenue to save the world. Mothers oh. are always left to raise their babies alone when the father leaves. Very true. It's almost like the mothers depended on God to get them through. And that white man were like, uh-oh, Black people are powerful. That's scary. And instead of saying, hey, black people, hey, Native American Indians, okay. you guys seem to be really peaceful and happy on your land. We just came here on this boat because we didn't like our homeland. So now we're here in yours. It's ours now, baby. Okay. White people aren't evil. They just weren't born near Jesus. But I was, baby. I'm from Lebanon, son of John. What's a little interesting is that I think that white people pushed Jesus onto other cultures through like colonialism. I guess her energy is nice. I think that she's just a little confused. I don't know. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hannah, words have meaning. This whole time, this whole time, her name was Gabrielle Hannah, Angel Gabriel, descendant of St. John the Baptist of Jesus Christ, our savior. No one took the time. It's the second coming, baby. Believe me or don't, I've been crucified publicly for years. Wow. Spread the news or don't, baby. Ah, just like Jesus Christ, he was crucified. He was a. Uh, did she say crucified for years? <laughs> did she compare herself to the Almighty Jesus Christ? Is that what she just said? Okay. Um. Turns out the trauma queen was Jesus Christ in spirit, wow. just like all of you. Bro, you know what though? What's crazy is like I guarantee. Like, listen, bro. Every like every religious nut back in the day, uh, or everybody that was like super religious or whatever, and that was like, I was I'm Jesus, I'm Jesus Christ. They probably were just some some insane person that like, you know what I mean? They're probably just some insane person. And people were like, you know what? I believe him. So maybe Gabby, either maybe Gabby really it really is. The second coming of Jesus Christ, or they were all just all crazy, and nobody was ever that like Jesus wasn't actually the Messiah. I'm just saying, one of these two could be possible. She might actually be the second coming. You don't really know. You don't really know. Okay, I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. You gotta keep an open mind. You know, She's right. Me? Okay. So one of the things that you're going to notice straight off the Jesus bat Christ. here is that she brings up in all these TikToks, but the stream. Wait, is this Repsion or Repzilla? Did I say did I say the wrong person? This is Repsion. I get them confused. It's Repsion. Sorry. Started it off is that she brings up black babies uh, not having fathers uh, and how children are passing away and they're in poverty and they have nobody to help them and that how she is this religious martyr or she's somehow part of the holy spirit she's been bring, she brings up Maybe. religion a lot as you're going to see here uh combined with wanting to save the world and constantly reaffirming that she's her house is paid for that she's mentally stable that she was this the racist stuff that people were talking about because it just sounds like she was like she's on like a like it's this is pretty typical like um like talking points from like white liberals you know um i'm just saying like I, i'm i'm just saying that so like I don't think it was racist. It's a, it was a little weird. Maybe part of it was misinformed a little bit. I don't really know. Especially the whole part where like, like again, uh, I think colonialism delivered uh, Christianity to a lot of non-white areas. Um, but yeah, I I was I wouldn't I wouldn't really call it racist. 
she has everything she ever wants in life, that she's okay, that witches were burned, that believing in Jesus is the only way to save yourself, and that by believing in Jesus, everything can be better. And then she goes back to talking Maybe. about black babies again. You know, I might just be oh, here we smarter go. than you think. Imagine me, the mother of a king. I might just be humbler than you think. Okay. You don't know what I ask for in between each blink. Imagine what a world might be if Steve Jobs had a V. What if a woman harnessed his power for humanity? Wow. Instead, I mean, um, I mean, I guess you wonder if Steve Jobs had a vagina, probably wouldn't be successful. A guy would have just taken her idea and said it was his own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, male W, typical male W. Oh, my wife thanks me. That's what she's saying. What'd she say? Every time I say I'm going to save the world, people laugh at me. Yeah. Oh. But they tell us you can be. She's saving the world through comedy, if you know what I mean. We have this unending power that we don't know, and that we can channel the Holy Spirit and do whatever we want, manifest, write it down. Oh. You can have anything. You can be the president of the United States. True. But why doesn't everybody else together, like me, with me, every single day, manifest saving the world? Because if all of us were delusional enough that we could be the person to save the world, then we can. Okay. We have to save ourselves to save each other. And how are we saving ourselves if we don't believe in ourselves? True, and the power I guess. that God gave us. Instead of laughing, why don't you pray with me? Why don't you encourage me? <laughs> Everyone. You want me to do something better than this? You want me to do something other than fight for his kids? My kids? Our kids? What? What's better than this? What is better than this? Tell me. How do you want me to abuse my power? How do you want me to abuse my power? How do you want me to abuse my power? How do you abuse your power? What? How do you use your voice? What do you talk about? I'm talking about dying homeless babies on the street. Okay. What are you talking about? Where should I spend my time? Is that negative to you? Are the dying babies on the street negative to you? Am I projecting them and myself onto you? You're damn fucking right. That's my God-given right. You know what I could have? That would have been a whole lot easier. I'm so grateful to my mother. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb. Jesus. This is definitely art, guys. This is incredible. Holy Mary, Mother of Grace. Pray for us sinners. <laughs> Why is this so horny? What the fuck? You a dog, God, play a mom? What is this? Uh, now, right now, and oh. At the hour of our death, our death. Oh my God! Our death. Amen. Wow. Yeah, she's Amen. definitely thick. Because people, humans, your brothers and sisters who have gone to hell and back, mm -hmm. realize everybody wants to be Jesus, and no one's brave. Where's the racism? The mother of God. I'm excited for, for that son. part. She sings all his praise. I don't know if this is psychosis, but what I do know, this is showing classic signs of being highly manic. And I've dealt with this personally okay. in my own life. Somebody I know personally who is, um, she goes through what's called retrograde amnesia. And it's probably okay. one of the scariest things I've ever seen because this person literally goes in and out of like consciousness. With re retrograde amnesia, they can't remember what they say or do. I would just be careful about like diagnosis. Because I, 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 it's clear that he has like a personal uh, experience and understanding with something like this from like uh, with somebody. I get that. I would be a little uh, careful of prescribing that to Gabby because it's very unlikely that she has something like that. It's more likely that she's just like going through some kind of an existential, almost a midlife crisis, mixed in with some mental health issues that probably came from being popular on YouTube and getting, uh, pro honestly, from what I've seen of Gabby, she's not perfect. She's done some shitty things, but some people, and I have to revisit it because I can't remember the specifics, but some of it feels like, um, some of it, I'm not saying all of it, some of it feels like people are looking for like an enemy and they're like, oh, like, like the, the kind of like the bullshit, um, what do they call it? They call it, um, concern trolling kind of a thing, you know, or people are like pearl clutching with some of the bad shit that she's done and making it worse than it actually is. Even if it's shitty, you know what I mean? Like disproportionate responses. 
So it's probably just like her whole life's been kind of like fucking fucked and twisted and warped in this weird way due to social media interaction do i don't know if this is the particular case i'm not here to diagnose i'm just talking about my own no. personal experience of things that i've seen and dealt with personally and that this is definitely mania being so manic that you jump from like sentence to sentence topic to topic not really making any sense of anything and what's so concerning is that as you're gonna see with more tiktoks here the constant reassurance is that i'm okay everything's fine when no normal average joe even people with usually mental health related issues oh yeah well what about the average joanna huh did you think about it like that dude Days. Don't post 150 TikToks screaming, singing, ranting, I speaking did. gibberish. Sorry, no what you're about to see through the remainder of these TikToks is that every single audience member, fans of her, she's pretty much ostracized and attacked them. And I mean, everybody in all of these. There's so many TikToks. Even as I'm making this video, there's more being posted right now. And she's going and That's responding crazy. to everything. Somebody leaves a comment. She makes a whole video in response to that one comment saying things and just is unhinged at this point. Unhinged and it's scary. What if a witch is just a bitch with a W instead of a B? <laughs> Because what we need is a woman for we. <laughs> so this is my book of secrets. And I'm going to read you. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Kind of. I mean, like, what if historically. I don't know if she's a boy. Being, what if historically witches were just like women that men didn't like or someone didn't like. And they accuse them of being a witch. And then all of like the uh, diagnoses for being a witch was like, oh, how do we. If they if they survive this death, this deathly feat. If we drown them in water and they die, they weren't a witch. You know what I mean? It's like, well, now you, they're dead, so you don't know. You know what I mean? So what if, uh, yeah, I mean, that's likely. Maybe that's the point she's making. I don't know if it is. I'm just saying, maybe it is. It's possible. It's possible. And that's the point she's making. A spell. Don't worry. You could never be cursed by somebody because you're protected by God as long as you ask for it. <laughs> 8, 15, She's looking kind of good, though, bro. It's 15, 2022. God, thank you for trusting me with your love. Please continue to bless me with clarity, humility, strength, compassion, kindness, intelligence, discernment, knowledge, and grace. Please keep me focused and honest, patient, and wise. Wow. Incredible. Witchcraft! <laughs> Up until yesterday, I wasn't really online for a minute. Some people were concerned about where I was. Babe, did you care to ask me where I was? Or are you judging me like your daddy does to you? Like your mommy does to you? Did you ask any okay. questions of the woman who literally has everything she wants, who is trying to encourage others to harness the power she clearly has? Because, honey, I've literally gotten everything I've ever asked for. I am so powerful. I've been sitting in a literal fucking fortress. Bro, I just feel like this is it, this is a little crazy, but this is not as unhinged as people are saying it is. I I don't know. I, I she's fucking it just is like I don't I don't know. It's like weird, but I feel like. Uh, it's not as crazy as you guys are saying. I'm just saying, dude. It's a little, it's interesting. I'll say that. Chris, I live in a castle. I don't know How about, that either. instead of assuming you take your own advice, why don't we all, actually? You inspired me today. Angel, thank you. I'm going to do something good today. I love you. Mm. She said it's on the right. <gasps> all right. Okay. It's all going to be all right. Praise be. It's all going to be all right, my poor, wow. sweet infant Jesus. It it's gets all worse. Going okay. To be all right. Oh wait, he left the prodigal son. All right. Good morning, everyone. She's still here. She's still having fun. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to get people to care about the starving babies on the street. Okay. And if I have to scream and shout every day for you to give a, I've never seen a starving baby on the street. I've seen dudes walking around asking for money and shit i just always give it to them some people are like why do you get the money they're probably gonna use drugs use it for drugs okay God, i don't give a fuck use it for drugs i don't give a shit like fucking why, why do i care if they use it for fucking drugs you know if i was on the street i'd do fucking drugs too bro it's probably why they're on the street because they have like a bad fucking addiction you know but i've never seen uh, like a baby on the street just like goo goo gaga just chilling you know what i mean fuck too i will i'm exhausted by the way i've been doing this for decades because they are my problem Okay, well, that's nice, I guess. And they're your problem. They're our problem. If you're willing to turn a blind eye to starving homeless babies because you're that selfish, yeah, uh, you're not a good person. Sure. Maybe you're not a good sense. person. You might, you're not a bad person, but you're not. Do you know why it's scary? Especially. Wait, why aren't you a bad person? What do you mean? <laughs> I wasn't, okay. If you don't care about starving babies, you, I feel like you're a bad person. That's weird. Okay. That's the weirdest thing she said so far, I think. The weirdest TikTok. Thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with how TikTok is, but on TikTok, there is this glamour, glamour, glamorization, this uplifting idea that 
if you have disorders or you are struggling with mental health and it's this cool and quirky thing to have i'm gonna post about it on tiktok i'm not bro. gonna seek a professional diagnosis or bro, i've been saying this for like two years now okay i've been saying this shit for two years and it's gonna become part of some people's trauma too or like some like the, or some part of their their problem they're like, yeah, I have like, people who actually have an issue. They're going to be like, yeah, I on TikTok and I'm embarrassed because this is a fucked up part. It's like a lot of times when something fucked up happens to you, like like you like you may not want to process it by telling everybody, but then they do because there's like a, almost like an incentive. So even people that actually have issues are probably like, yeah, I have this issue. Ha, ha, ha. Like and they get a little old and they go, wow, I really am embarrassed for even like saying that I had this problem. You know, I should have like talked to like my family or my friends or people who cared about me rather than like using it for clout because now I have like an like a stack onto my fucking traumatic experience, you know? Anything of that, li of that my, likeness. Like, and I'm just going to say that I think I have this. It's hip and trendy. Now, I'm not True. saying that's what's happening with Gabby Hanna at all. I'm just saying this is a really big thing on TikTok. And because it's so large and ingrained on that platform, one of the reasons is that because Gabby Hanna has such a large audience, it can definitely have people on the outside look at it and say, look at how many views she's getting. Some of these TikToks True. are 250,000, a couple of them are half a million. But on average, they're getting every TikTok's getting between 80 to 150,000 views per TikTok, and a lot of people are dismissing gabby hannah as saying that she's doing this for attention and i'm sorry part of it might be that though like you know it's it's i don't you know i think uh part of it could be that it's possible i disagree with you i don't think gabby hannah is doing this for attention i think that's a cop-out response right. to yeah. people who are really mentally unwell that need help do some people do things for attention with disorders and mental health related issues absolutely i'm not well it's possible that she even has a mental disorder and then on top of that she's using it for attention like that's that's something that some people do some people have like an issue and then they use it for attention stuff so. You know, it's it's all it's all very possible saying that one bad apple is everybody guilty of the same behavior. What I'm saying is that I truly don't believe that this is doing be done for attention. I don't believe this is an elaborate troll. This is somebody who is not mentally well. And I don't think that making videos making fun of her necessarily contributes to anything other than just exploiting and taking advantage of this person your own personal vendetta and gain because she has been controversial or terrible person in the past. Regardless of how bad somebody may or may not be, if they are mentally unwell, I will always want them to seek treatment and get the proper help that they deserve. Now, naturally, because so many people are concerned of Gabby Hanna, um, her sister actually replied to several comments on her own Insta um, TikTok account saying that they've done everything they possibly can to help her and that their own family members of Gabby Real? Her own family members were saying shit? Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Yeah. Um... This video was filmed and posted a full day before anything was happening, or at least before they were. Uh, we were aware. We are all in PA, and she's in LA. We are doing what we can to be done from here. At the end of the day, you are all strangers on the internet, and it's none of your business, regardless. Well, she's kind of making it their, their business, to be honest with you. That's one of like the unfortunate parts. She's inviting them into the life. Uh, regardless, level of concern. Obviously, we are aware and doing what we can. She's an adult. I'm a 20 year old on the other side of the country. You know, that's fucked up to think about. Like, how how do you think of like what she feels? You know, like the the sister. Imagine that. Isn't that fucked up? Like your younger sister, or younger brother, or younger siblings. Like, oh man, I'm so concerned for my for my fucking you know so and so, my my family member. But I don't know what to do. You know, how fucked up is that, dude? That's fucked. Her own Insta um, TikTok account saying that they've done everything they possibly can to help her, and that their own family members of Gabby Hanna are concerned themselves. It only seems to be escalating. So, also special thanks to the sponsor of the channel today, Vance Global, which I'll be donating part of my payment to a mental health charity. Vance Global specializes in CBD. TH, Delta 8, mm. organic biodegradable smokes. Now, if inhaling things is not your preference, they have CBD gummies, brand new, Delta 8 gummies, and TH gummies. Because let me tell you, the potency on these are very, very strong. If you're a light user, just do a small little slice like this. If you are a medium user, cut it in half. If you're a heavy user, just eat the whole thing. If you use my discount code at checkout, Damn. Repsion, you're going to get 20% off all of your orders, free shipping to all 50 states combined. If you subscribe to them and save, use Repsion30, you're going to get 30% off your orders. The potency and power Ooh. of these gummies will not disappoint. Please click the link down below and support the channel if you are in need of some Dude. serious relax. I always talk about how I had this, like, I greened out. I had, like, 200, like, fucking milligrams or whatever of, like, a chocolate. I didn't realize that it would be that harsh, and I, it was a horrible experience, bro. I'll never go near any of that shit ever again, dude. It's crazy. Relaxation, calmness, and pain relief. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Collectively, collectively. Look what the internet did collectively to hate a fucking woman for no fucking reason other than fun. Look what we are capable of collectively if we would remember we instead of always fucking attacking she. God. God. Okay, maybe God. she's not wrong though. You parted us like the fucking sea. Wait, why is this like unhinged though? Like, listen, again, I was saying before, I think Gabby handled like some of the shit that she did was bad, but it wasn't as bad as people were saying. And, like, I don't know. Like, I get the whole idea of what she's saying. Like, bro, I, I don't know if she's unhinged or if you guys are just coping. Like, maybe you think it's unhinged. Maybe she's fucking right, dude. I don't know, dude. You know, I'm just I'm just about to die. What's going to happen here? All right. And now he sees red. I don't know, dude. He sees red. She. So many people who actually don't give a fuck 
about anyone but themselves, regardless of how hard they've been lying to themselves for a very long time, are so concerned for me because I'm manic, right? As I sit in my cozy private loft on top of my house, enjoying the sunset, sitting with my cats, as my cleaner cleans up the dishes later, we'll have some breakfast I'll cook for her. Why? And then oh, someone's coming nice over so we can plan, plan. Damn, I wish I could have a fucking cleaner. I told my wife, once I start making like um, $4,000 a week, she can quit her job and she can just be her uh, stay home mom, stay home mom and like wife. And it don't be like, oh, well that's so, my wife wants to do that, stupid fuck. So shut the fuck up with your bullshit concern. We're just, all right. So keep watch, keep watching the content guys. All right. So wait for the Jack and Jill rant. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know, Paige. I don't know, Paige. I'm thinking that maybe maybe Gabby Han is just, is she's, maybe she is the fucking messiah, bro. Sis? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Plan. We get to plan and pray in my garden. My literal wow, garden. Wow, that sounds fun. It's overflowing with lavenders. Lavenders. <laughs> there are a lot of lavenders. Jasmine. Bougainvillea okay. of many colors. So many roses. Cool. My Rose. home is beautiful. I get to come home. You know, now that I said rosé, I was thinking, I bought Snoop Dogg wine when I went on vacation. I never drank it. I feel stupid. I don't know where it is. I think I left it. It's Florida. Shit, sad stuff. They're working really, really, really hard every day. True. Because that's what I wanted. True. I chose. Yeah. I chose when I was a little girl. I said, I will dedicate my life to saving the babies of the world who don't have homes. No. And then when cool. God decides... That I get to have the love. So, of like, them. if you're gonna do that, you should advocate around an idea. Like, what could you do to give them homes other than just say it? You know what I mean? Like, it'd be a good idea. Me personally, universal basic income kind of guy. You know, takes care of our technology problem as well, displacing jobs, driving down the wages. But it's always good to rally around an idea. Just saying, okay. Just saying, okay. My life and have my own children. I will. Okay. I have never been in a rush to get married and have children okay. because there are so many that already need us. Do you ever wonder why nuns or Mother Teresa never get married, never have kids? Because they're nuns. They're... Because they're not fucking selfish. It's not oh. selfish to want kids. That's okay. our instinct to procreate. Okay. But some of us have a higher calling. Some of us were blessed with okay. visions. Okay. Some of us get blessed to see our vision. Yeah. And then we get to... I think some people just don't want to push a fucking baby out of their pussy. And some people just can't do it. You know? I don't know. Okay. Uh, interesting. Share our vision with the world. And we fight every day to save. Now, everything being said, I don't know if Gabby should adopt, though. That, that'd be a little crazy, I think. That might be a little crazy. If she adopts, I don't know if I think a kid should be raised by Gabby fucking Anna. That might be a, uh, a little unhinged, you know? Have a vision. We want to share our vision. With okay. you. With us. <laughs> cool. Open your eyes. <laughs> Oh, mother, help them. Cure the blind. Trust me, Gabby, my eyes are very open along with my ears. And personally, I would rather adopt. It's a pretty big privilege to have a really nice house and be able to go out in your garden, smell the lavender, much less even having a housemaid. Man, I've never had a housemaid in my entire life. But usually when somebody is talking about being humble, they're not usually listing off things and the luxury of living your house paid off, a fancy garden, fancy housemaid, doing all your cleaning. Humbleness is one thing, but you also have to acknowledge that the privilege you have that a lot of people don't. And I'm going to be that person. I know I'm going to get a lot of slack for this, but YouTube is a pretty damn easy job. Yeah. Yes, there are pros and cons of things. Obviously, you have a lot of weirdos, invasive people who try to come into your house and dox you, find your location, show up at your house. But in terms of being able to sit in the luxury of your own home, not go out to work, driving every single day, five days a week, your life, Gabby isn't hard what i think is hard in i'm just wondering why he's mentioning this did i miss something it didn't really seem like she was saying that her life was like hard it seemed like she was actually going on a tangent about how her life was kind of easy what the fuck did it really just die okay whatever uh she seemed like she was going on a tangent about how her life is like kind of easy and um she wants to adopt did I just get something wrong or? In this day and age is getting proper mental health education and getting proper treatment for whatever someone is experiencing having whatever disorder they have. At least in America, if you're not low income in my state, health insurance is three to $400 a month unless you have a job that offers it. And even then certain jobs around yeah. my state don't offer really good health. Yeah, I used to pay about $100 a week for my insurance. Now with my wife's insurance, uh, I still pay $100 a week. 
but it's family insurance instead of single insurance, so it's actually pretty good. Health benefits. My father had his stroke. Take him seven miles to the hospital. It costs six thousand dollars for a seven mile um ambulance ride, right? I also don't think it's right to start attacking people who want kids or who don't want kids and labeling them as selfish. Uh, she didn't do that though. She was pretty explicit. She was like, I think it's um you know, she might have said it in a little bit of a weird way, but she was trying to say that she doesn't think that having kids is selfish. Uh, she thinks that like that's a natural like biological imperative, but people who don't want to have their own kids and take care of other kids, people's kids, those people are like virtuous basically they're they're not you know what i mean like uh, at least you know maybe she said it weird it seems like she was just trying to say that like she thinks it's under she understands it's normal for people to want kids but she thinks that people who take care of other people's kids are like you know virtuous so she said it nah she um okay let's rewatch it though with vision love of my life i have come i'll cook for her and pray there's any roses really hard every girl i said i will dedicate my life to those i chose when i was a little girl i said i will dedicate is this my the part life we're talking about to saving the babies of the world who don't have homes and then when god decides that i get to have the love of my life and have my own children i will i have never been in a rush to get married and okay. have children because there are so many that already need us do you ever wonder why nuns or Mother Teresa never get married, never have kids? Because they're not fucking selfish. Okay. It's not selfish to want kids. That's our instinct to procreate. But some of us have a higher calling. Some of us were blessed. Yeah, so like, uh, see, so she said some of us aren't selfish. And then she says it's not selfish to want to procreate and have a higher call. So what I'm saying is that like she doesn't know how, like she's expressing herself in like a shitty way. But like I, it sounds like she, uh, it, more than anything else, like misspoke. You understand what I'm saying? So she did say it was, and then she like didn't. Then she said it wasn't. So like, if anything, she's just fucking like she's not uh, expressing herself the right way. But it sounds like she's trying to say that like it's not selfish to want to have your own kids. Um, basically, it's normal to want to have your own kids, but like it's more virtuous to you know what I mean. But like it's confusing the way she said it. You know what I mean? That's what I meant. But the way that she said it was not like intelligently at all. So proper mental health thing month, unless you have a job that offers it. And even then, certain jobs around my state don't offer really good health benefits. My father had his stroke. Take him seven miles to the hospital. It costs six thousand dollars for a seven mile um, ambulance ride. Right. I also don't think it's right to start attacking people who want kids or who don't want kids and labeling them as selfish. That's just my opinion. It's not relevant. It's pretty worthless. I used every single resource that was given to me, and that's why I am so successful when i say successful i'm not talking about my job i retired at 30 just like yeah she said that shit confusing as fuck so i, I can understand why you guys thought that way but uh, like you know what i mean because she did not express herself well at all with the way that she said that so i said i was going to when i wrote it in my journal as a fucking teenager ah praise jesus we get everything we want we get everything we want my plan was to do everything in my 20s so okay. I can enjoy the second half of my life and dedicate it to saving the world instead of myself. Huh? <laughs> Open your eyes. God has blessed me because I made all the right wishes. <laughs> and now it's my burden to help you ungrateful. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you are my cross to bear. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> And I still have Bro, whose laugh is this? This reminds me of like a weird laugh on TikTok. I can't, I don't know. I'll, I'll think of it later, but it's so weird. To help you. Not the Joker. <sighs> um, but yeah, I used all my resources. And um, that's why my life is fucking awesome. And you guys all have the power to also make your lives fucking awesome. But I have yeah. to teach you, and other people have to teach you. It's not like I'm alone in this. So like what's what's weird about this though though and I don't think she understands what she's saying but by this logic she's she's pushing like you can you can save yourself basically and shit but yeah it, but it comes off as like you got to pick yourself up by the bootstraps and so logically speaking why can't we just say this to like oh babies can just fix their fucking shitty lives as well you know what I mean once they grow up they'll be able to fix their life if they just act the right way you know what I mean so I don't think that she understands what she's saying but um you know okay it's not like I'm like the only person on the planet that has superpowers what if I told you we all do 
What if I told oh. you that collectively? Oh, this. Well, autism is my superpower, guys. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> you ever hear that before? This thing that people keep talking about, this collective conscious thing. Oh, it's real? Or is it just something fun? Is the simulation theory just so fun to talk about with my buddies? Because I don't actually want to get that deep into it because I'm scared of what that means. All these theories shit. mean the same Oh, thing. shit. She's, <laughs> she's turning into Andrew Tate. It's all simulation. Holy fuck. She's going off the deep end, guys. Holy moly. It's crazy. All of them. That there is something greater that we don't know and that we don't have control. Can we just call it God? You don't have to. You really don't. I choose to because it's the language that people understand. Otherwise, we start calling it the simulation theory because that puts us, man, kind of back in control. We have to keep rewriting wow. history even though they already told us. You keep renaming the same shit. They already told us. There's a greater power than us that is controlling everything. Aliens, the simulation theory, God, the universe, karma. They already told us. Wow. You can stop guessing. We have the tree of knowledge. Wow. And they say- The zooming in and out is just so fucking weird. Eat as much as you want. Eat as much as you want. Why aren't you finishing the meal mother gave you, you ungrateful children? <laughs> There's something interesting about fear. Um, for example, being raised Catholic, we're afraid of ghosts. Okay. We are fucking afraid of ghosts and demons. It's scary. Yeah. So what they taught us was shut it all out, shut it all out, shut it all out. Somebody once told me that Satan is like a dog on a leash and just don't get too close. It's interesting because somebody once told me that the world was going to roll me. Isn't that crazy? And you'll be okay. So they tell us don't connect to spirit. Don't try to practice any type of actual divine connection to spirit to put out into the world because you might get possessed. <laughs> possessed by who the holy fucking spirit if you want you think that god would give us all of this shit all of it and only satan could use it you think that only evil spirits can possess a human being or could you call on the holy spirit well i don't know i don't know god is that okay i know you'll keep me safe wow. so please don't let me do anything this that you incredible. wouldn't want me to do i trust you and you trust me we are one i am your daughter and i trust you Okay. So let me see what you want me to see and nothing else. Let me see what you want me to see, what you want us to see, and nothing else. You'll protect me, right? You've always told me you'll protect Who me. Who back on TikTok? Well, good luck to him. <laughs> you want me to eat from the tree of knowledge, so I'm going to eat. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. Wow. Thank you for this gift. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to share our vision with the world. I want to help everybody be possessed by the Holy Spirit. The power of Christ compels you to do what? The power of Christ. Bro. I can't stop looking at her fucking tits, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I'm like, when I'm not looking, I'm like, you know what I mean? When I'm listening, it's like one thing. But like, gee, like, why? I, do you think that shit was intentional to get people to watch the videos? I'm not trying to be that fucking guy. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but it's so it's fucking distracting, okay? I'm trying not to be that guy. It's distracting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Compelled me to dedicate my life to help. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. We. I'm sorry. Me? Hey, shut up. We. Man? Woman? Wow! Yo, I will say one thing, though. Her hands are ugly as fuck. Sorry, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but... Uh, they look like fucking, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, guys. She? Like, what the hell? God is so genius. True. God is so genius. I agree. 100%. God is so genius. Let's think about this. So, we are told that we're not supposed to practice witchcraft. See, she just zoomed it out into the frame. Did you see that? Look. Genius. Watch. God is so genius. Let's think look. about this. So we zoomed in a little bit. Told. Zoomed out. See, she, she's got, trying to hit the angle, dude. She's she's telling us to. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that we're not supposed to practice witchcraft, but think about the Salem witch trials. And now, in hindsight, we know that the people they were burning weren't actually witches. Yeah, it's almost true. as if man took a woman's power and the tools we needed, the books and the information and the knowledge and the vessels we needed to heal. And fucking burnt them because the Did white we, man was we, afraid of a colored woman's power a white right. woman's power where okay wh i was like i was with you in the the general sense and where did the color where did the race part come into play like where did that where does that fucking come into play 
Um, it's like kind of random. I'm gonna die here. Fuck. These two fucking idiots didn't even help me. Where? I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe people would call women witches to try and like, you know, just as a way to fucking get them killed for being too smart. You know, it's possible. But then where where did she go with the where where, where did the race play, come into play with that? You know what I mean? I mean, maybe I mean it just feels like you didn't have to bring it there. I don't know. Right, the shade of our skin is just melanin. And And where then if you think about it, like, yeah, someone's the Willem, the Salem witch trials was basically a bunch of women pointing at other women and saying like, "Oh, look what we did wrong." So like, look at that person. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. So like it's almost like you could argue that like they got them to report on themselves. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't just bringing women. It wasn't just like using uh, accusations to fuck with women. It was also uh, making other women report these women. You know what I mean? And then it gets even more fucked up when you think of it like that. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. We are born in relation to the sun. Her son. Her son that she gave to us, the earth. Okay. Oh, wow. The sun is her son. Okay. And she trusted us to him. And he trusted her to us. Wow. Just One like big, Among happy Us. Family. Just like Among Us. So actually, no, you don't have to win to give back. I give back all the time. Oh. All the time. That was bonus round. But how oh. fun would it have been if I give an additional $100,000 because you guys fucking rallied and uplifted a woman and her talent and her art and her music if you would listen to the words I was saying and be inspired by my thoughts? Oh, no, you're not talented or artistic at all. Like, you're, you're, your stuff sucks. Ah, horrible. It's terrible. Old garbage. Just want you to know that. Uh, I thought you were just talking about generally lifting women up and stuff like that, but like you're talking about how you being an artist. I don't know, bro. That's about. I'm I'm also an artist then. Fucking message to save the world. I was going to let God let me bless you guys with an additional hundred thousand dollars on top of the work that I already do and don't brag about. And I was going to let you guys vote on how to divvy it up. Okay. Do you want one person to get a hundred thousand dollars? Do you want ten thousand dollars for ten people? Should I give a thousand dollars? But is that like, wouldn't you be better off giving that money to just babies, like or like some kind of a uh, something that saves babies? Like, why would you give it to people? I'm just saying, like that's doesn't like that's cool. But wouldn't it make more sense to give it to like the people who are more like less fortunate? Wouldn't that make more sense? I'm just saying, bro. Dollars to a hundred people? Should I give a hundred dollars to a thousand people? How fun would that vote have been to see how you guys decided? How do you want to spend the hundred thousand dollars? How do you guys want to spend the hundred thousand dollars that you helped me win? Um, that drugs. would have been interesting to see. To be honest, I would have been interested to see because even God gets bored sometimes. <laughs> Shannon, Shannon, Old River. Did you know the meaning of your name? My house is paid for. My house is paid for. Oh, she said, is it rent due or something? Okay. My house is paid for. It's almost like ah, 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 I don't need the approval of anybody. But God herself, himself, herself. It's almost, it's almost, it's almost as like I'm in heaven. And you're all still stuck in hell. And if I don't save you still, Are you gonna sing? then I will be as well. Here's a theory. I thought you she was don't gonna have sing. To believe me. But what if all women bodies have male spirit and all male spirit has feminine souls? What if that was our punishment for breaking the earliest rules? What if all we had to do was be nice and be kind to our brothers and sisters, and instead we started fucking murdering and murdering each other, starting with Cain and Abel. Starting with Cain and Abel, he killed his fucking brother. He was so capable. Okay. This may be common sense for some, but for others it may not. One of the things I've noticed going through her TikTok is a large portion huh? of the comments Maybe that are made right. on her TikTok, she is responding to anyone that is critical of her, anyone that even questions that she is not mentally all there or that they're worried or concerned. She really goes off the deep end in terms of accusing them and making correlations with somehow the Bible. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty on character. I guess people who really are going through something or like crazy, I guess you'd say in some capacity, usually don't acknowledge it. If, if you know, like, yeah, I know I'm crazy, then usually they're not crazy, you know what I mean? Um, um, I don't really understand it to me when I see somebody start referencing the Bible and pulling things. I thought he would understand it the most though. Cause isn't, uh, wasn't he like, um, I think I watched a video. He used to be like really religious. Like he was like, yeah, it's kind of like trapped in like really religious ideology. Right. He'd be the one to know, I think, you know, things and biblical stories out in real life comparisons 
I do get very concerned for the obvious reason. The Bible isn't based on science, and while sure there may be plenty of metaphors to use in the Bible, combining with that she's part of the Holy Spirit, Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, what can you and I really do outside of express, hey, we're concerned, and then she lashes out at that concern? Because as of today, which is August 24th, there was a wellness check called on Gabby Hanna. And as you would suspect... Hey, dear neighbors, genuinely thank you for the concern. Last night when I screamed out into the wilderness, not knowing if you guys could hurt me, but did it anyway because I had my faith, I killed my fucking ego and- Something I learned today, the officers came for a wellness check, and I asked them if any of them wanted a hug, and they all said they wouldn't like one. Okay. Maybe it would have saved my fucking life. I'm okay, don't worry about me though. Could have saved my life. She acts like she's perfect. She acts like she knows everything. Um, Why does she always okay. think she's so much smarter than everybody else? I mean, I don't know if they're allowed to give you hugs, especially male officers, right? Because that might come off as like weird, I don't know. Oh my god, she thinks her poetry is so deep. Oh, maybe you were just too fucking dumb to understand it. No, actually, I fucking didn't. I slept in this. And then I put in some jeans, because I had to go to the store, and I had to put a shirt on too. Sometimes I was still wearing my robe, sometimes I had this shirt on, and sometimes I take it off. You know what I base it on? The temperature. And I get to hang out in my beautiful house all day where I have the best time of my life making music and art and hanging out with whoever I invite into my home and only going out into the world when I absolutely have to or when I feel like it. I made heaven a place on earth. Guess what? It literally is if you have faith that the voice is in your fucking Probably is if you have a lot of money too. <laughs> fucking head. Our mom. Did I give her a hug? Yeah, of course. Especially in that outfit. Oh, I'm sorry. And dad. Father and mother, God, they're all three. Jesus is literally all of us. Hey, want to hear something sick? We're all Jesus. Wow. I do have powers. So do you. You just don't have faith. So when somebody has faith, okay. they question yours. What? Oh, was that backwards? I that is true. When people don't have faith, they question yours because they don't understand the foundation of what you're talking about. But okay, yeah, sure. I'm not sure. We're literally all looking in mirrors mm. all the time. So if you don't like certain things about your life, Look at your relationships and realize that God literally gave you the exact mirror or opposite of yourself. You get to choose in the person that you see what is good that you like about them and anything you don't, you don't pick up. You can pick up the things you like. Oh, is that a symptom of narcissism and mirroring? Maybe it's a symptom of trying to grow and relate and learn from each other, which is why we need good parents. I guess she's not really wrong, right? Like you talk, like you in interact with people and then you pick up what you feel is good and then you dispose of what you think is bad. Isn't that kind of just like a normal everyday human process, right? Um, yeah, that's pretty normal in general for people to do. That's kind of how like, that's how conversations usually will work. Like you'll talk to somebody and then you'll like educate yourself on their perspective and then you pick up some of it that you feel is like makes sense and good and that's kind of just everything is just an exchange of different ideology ideas right? which is why we need healthy homes and love yeah it's yeah, it sounds like she's exploring through like different philosophical con uh, concepts but on like mushrooms yeah that's exact that's that's probably the the best way to put it uh for sure i agree with that 100 percent. that makes perfect sense to me if we all patiently wait to have sex till we're about 30 or 31 years old what and the mama can make the mess now i know she's crazy now nah, okay i wasn't i didn't know now okay she's out of her fucking mind wait until 31 bro holy fuck that's crazy that's crazy especially for men because i feel like men get so sexually aggressive and then they just start fucking doing horrible shit like part of it's like shooting up schools. And I know you're probably like, Papa God, that's horrible. But it's kind of true. Like every, every one of these fucking incels, they're shooting up schools. Like part of it has to do with like their just lack of ability to get fucking women. <laughs> it's not the only reason. Um, there's a lot to it. But like, it'll, it, I would argue that the people that go radicalized usually uh, struggle with like interacting with women and then they feel they're misunderstood or, you know, so. And the nest, to be a soft place to land, we will sacrifice our husbands but we don't sacrifice our sons. And Mother Earth literally sacrificed her son is Jesus Christ, the son of- But if we sacrifice our husbands, isn't your hu somebody's husband is somebody's son? No, that doesn't even make sense to me. That's our brother. We all had a chance and you still do. Jesus literally always saves. Why not try? What is there to lose? You are not going to hell. It's on Earth, we're here. 
heaven, earth, and purgatory, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever, heaven and earth. Amen. Oh, you want to throw away somewhere so you can go to a new Yeah, I've heard that concept as well, that like heaven is or or the earth is hell. And like, you know, different uh depending on how much of a bad boy you were, it depends on how like miserable your life is and shit like that. Um, like some of the things that she's saying are like pretty normal concepts. She's just saying it like a fucking just crazy in a weird way. One, how about you make the very best of everything you're given, you unselfish little fucking brats? If you have a favorite creator, musician, anybody who has a large social media following, and if you see them on their social media, because a lot of social media has activity feeds, so you can see people's replies, you can see responses, likes, etc., etc. If your favorite creator is constantly, and I mean constantly, 24 7 replying to every singular negative thing, even if it's not necessarily negative, but they reply and the response is always negative, that is a red flag. I get it though, like I reply to negative stuff sometimes. But I yeah, I feel like a lot of people just end up engaging in that, like a lot of popular creators just fucking do that without like realizing it almost, like they get so warped up in the negative attention. I'm talking about like, this needs to be a behavior where it's like just unhinged, everything that somebody says they're replying and be negative in response, they are not mentally well. Not just that, but the level of defensiveness that is exhibiting right here, simply by an observation, she's gone through three outfit changes, and so only 3 p.m., and she just goes on this rant over a comment that wasn't even directed specifically with the at symbol towards Gabby. It was a reply to another comment, and by sheer randomness, she's like, you know, deathly scrolling like, hmm, what's people saying? What's people saying? It is so un- healthy social media in my opinion is a disease it causes physical brain rot as someone who uses it frequently myself Probably, i was on vacation yeah. for almost 11 days and while i was using twitter i just completely shut my mind out of caring about anything i have to do that for myself because if i let a singular or a, you know 10 negative comments out of a thousand comments affect me i'm going to live a very miserable life you can't sure. really give a lot of shits when you're a public figure especially one when you're known as being very controversial in nature as that being said, I don't think that like any time somebody interacts with like their um with like with, like with negative attention that they're like necessarily unhinged fundamentally. People do that sometimes. Sometimes people will respond. You know, if you do it con like I mean, she's on a fucking she's going a little crazy, but I'm just saying, you know, individually what she's doing not really that concerning. You could probably argue that she's being a little crazy about it. I just don't think she's as I don't think that she's uh, acting as crazy. Like she's acting a little fucking weird. Uh, sorry, I don't think that she's acting as crazy as you guys want to believe. I don't think that everything is like a um, like a moment. I don't think everything is like, oh my god, you know what I mean? I think it can be. I think that sometimes maybe like, you know, it's a weird behavior. Uh, but like, I don't know. I feel like some people, like, I think that she's just being fucking weird. And uh, she feels enlightened. I don't know. Maybe it's because I know people like that. And they, they feel enlightened. It's like pretty no normal for like religious people that are like, I get it now. Everything makes sense. And she's trying to communicate to people. Or maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it's as fucking crazy. She's having a textbook bipolar episode. Yeah, but like, says who? Says you? Like, what do you mean? Like, why do you think that? Like, are you, are you guys, um, are you guys, like, is this your job? You know what I mean? Like, are you, um, like, do you, are you qualified to make that assertion? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's a lot of people that are like, yeah, it's textbook. How do you know that? Like, what's your, what's your degree in? You might be displaying manic symptoms, okay, but like a lot of people can display a lot of different things. That's why there's a lot of criteria to diagnose these types of things. I'm just saying, and then it gets even more dangerous when people just start like diagnosing the Gabby, especially people who aren't like you. First of all, you haven't talked to her, but second of all, like you're not even somebody that's within the field. You know what I mean? It gets like a little bit fucking crazy and it gets a little bit weird. And then there's also the factor that there are people who are um, like, there are people who. There are even people. Who <clears throat> do have like the ability to diagnose, but they're also like drama people, and they're just like they're kind of they want an answer. So like, yeah, I mean, she does have some of the symptoms. So I'm gonna say that it's this, and I'm gonna leverage my credibility as somebody in medical school to say like it must be this, even if it's a reach. And they're you know what I mean. So I'm just saying she has she has this bipolar. Maybe it's possible. I'm just saying I feel like people are super quick to start diagnosing people and like taking it like. I feel like a lot of people look at this and like they're very quick to diagnose and I think a lot of people um like when they shouldn't and I think part of it is like people look at this stuff as like a fucking soap opera sometimes too you know it's just, I don't know man I would be I'm apprehensive about like jumping right to that and then get defensive over innocent comments like you're changing your outfit three times a day at the end of the day if i want to change my shirt three times a day who the fuck gives a shit right her response says everything that she is not 
sane. No matter how much she tries to say that she is. This is mania. I want Okay, so she might be diagnosed with bipolar, but that doesn't mean that she's having an episode. I'm just letting you guys know. It's possible that she is. I think you guys are misreading what I'm saying, and you're doubling down instead of listening to what I'm saying, is that you should be apprehensive about online diagnoses, right? Like, somebody can have, like, a particular thing, and that doesn't mean that everything's attributed to that thing. Just saying. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying that people are really quick to believe these things, and I think that sometimes they look at it through, like, the lens of drama. That's all I'm saying. That's literally all I'm saying. Did she say that she's having a manic episode herself? Is that what you're saying now? Because we've, because like, did she say that? Hey, I'm having a manic episode. Like, am I wrong about that? Because it sounds like she said she has bipolar, and you're using that to justify your diagnosis that she's going through a manic episode. All I'm saying, dude, is to be apprehensive about it. You know, don't just jump to fucking conclusions. I want you, me, and everyone watching this video to acknowledge and see this for what it is, that this person is not well. Especially with what happens in these true. next few TikToks. I had super high anxiety just watching them. What does that mean to you? You hope I'm okay, actually okay. I'm in bed, safe, in my beautiful castle, with the, the best of friends, and my cleaner, doing my dirty work for me. <laughs> Listening to music, maybe later I'll play some music, maybe I'll paint, maybe I'll draw. Maybe I'll sit around all day and theorize and think and philosophize, cry, stretch, do some yoga, drink some water, volunteer, go to church. Are you okay? Are you okay? Because I'm financially sound. I'm physically healthy. I'm still confident enough to share my art despite the entire world for years, decades, centuries, trying to kill me. You want the second coming, right? And they, T, the, the cross, he, Y, vagina, mom, dad, <laughs> and the baby, father, son, and the Holy Spirit, they, the voices in your head, they always say, you know, they always say, all those sayings, who the fuck is they? Who is they? Are you okay? Because I'm channeling genius, and I've allowed the spirit of the Holy Ghost possess my body, and guess what? you literally can too. And I'll teach you because if you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. And if you teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. Are you okay? Because I have faith that I'm in heaven on earth, heaven on earth. Oh, right. Uh, the creator of heaven and earth. Oh, are you okay? Because the second coming is here. So you better fucking talk to God or don't. I mean, the only weird part about this is that she's professing to be fucking the second coming of Jesus Christ. Outside of that, what is she saying that's wrong? She's like, am I okay? Like, yes, I'm rich, and I'm comfortable, and I'm happy, and I'm surrounded by people that, that are happy as well. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as unhinged as people are saying that it is. It's like, it's weirdly, what? Well, maybe I'm just too used to, like, really religious people. She says every few months. Is that true? Maybe. I feel like this is the first time anybody said that to me in this segment. It's possible. She's a mother of God? Yeah, me too. I'm the mother of God. I'm the father of God. Just kidding. You know? I don't care. But I, like a good child of God, am going to sing my parents' praises. And I, it's, and it's my responsibility. You think it's a fixation? Not like, out of nowhere? That's, that makes sense. I mean, that she's fixed. I mean, like, you know what it is? Maybe I'm just... Because, like, this fixation on, like, the second coming shit. I don't know, dude. I feel like as people get older, especially like in their 30s and 40s, like this, it's, I don't know, for me, like it's like almost normal to become a little bit more religious and like find some kind of spirituality for whatever reason. Maybe it just makes sense based on life experience or maybe it's partially a cope. You know, maybe she's turning to religion because like people were fucking harassing her online or something. <laughs> um, That's possible, you know? I guess maybe, I just guess, I don't know. To save know. the lives of all children, no matter what age. Wanna laugh your ass off? This is a stranger. <laughs> Do what you just did. I'll share my water with you. Literally, bots. Now this part gets a little fucking crazy. What? Like, I honestly would like to help. I don't know what to do though. So if anybody has any suggestions, I'm here. Everybody says somebody needs to help her, but- By the way, Nick? Yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why what did you this? lie to me? That's for my acne, you dumb cunt. Get the fuck out of my house. Now. 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 This is where things get crazy. This Now. Yeah. Now that's getting crazy. Whatever the fuck just happened there. 
that was fucking weird. Inviting a stranger in and then saying, you know who I am, and start screaming at them. I don't think that she got his name right. There you go. There you go. Now, now it's fucking crazy. Now it's fucking crazy. That was pretty fucking crazy. This guy named Nick who lives out of his car was oh, live was streaming. I don't have the full live stream, but I have I have screenshots uh, of it. Nick found Gabby Hanna's home address, live streamed him driving all the way to her house, gets out of his car, is showcasing her physical home and her car, her license plate, all that jazz, um, which, by the way, is very invasive. Um, he goes up to her house, knocks on the door. He picked up her pills and asked her what those are, and that's when she flipped out. What the fuck? Um, acts to be a stranger, says he needs to use the restroom, and he starts making TikTok videos in Gabby Hanna's house. Okay. That's... She gives him a cup of coffee. Um, he posts some more TikTok videos saying he wants to help her. And as you just saw there, uh, he went and grabbed part of her medication, asked her what this is. She screams, you don't, you do know who I am. Get the fuck out of my house. Yeah. Rightfully so, as anybody would. He leaves, then goes on a live stream and tries to defend himself, saying he's been there before. She's going to psychosis and he's the only person. I might be being too charitable to her, Papa. She posts 100 TikToks in a day. Maybe it's because like I used to post like a lot of TikToks in a day. And maybe I'm, maybe that's why I post like, well, probably like 20, 25, 30 sometimes for content. Uh, high energy, overwhelming, positive. Yeah, maybe. Especially with this. I mean, once we get to this part with the stranger, that's when it's like, oh, fuck, you know? Who actually did anything to try to help her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's quite cut and dry textbook psychosis shit. So, um, yeah. Um, I tried my best to help. I tried my best to help. I mean, what, what, what more can I do? I went in there. I've been there myself. So I thought I maybe could do something. All these people were saying do something, do something, do something, but nobody did anything except for me. I was the only, I was the one that did something. I was the only I mean, this guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> More than anything else, what do you mean? You, well, that's fucking weird, bro. <laughs> only one that did something. So, um, um. But number one, first of all, uh, Nick, fuck you. Number two, fuck you again. Number three, fuck, fuck, fuck you. Uh, you're a piece of goddamn shit. I don't know you. I don't like you. Maybe he's also fucking crazy though. Maybe that's why he went there. You know? Maybe he's also fucking crazy. Cause it sounded like the way that he talked, that sounded a little fucking crazy too. No, like I went there to try to help her. Do you think he actually thought that? You know what I mean? You exploited and took advantage of somebody in a vulnerable state for your fucking worthless, stupid fucking TikTok that nobody gives a fucking shit about until you fucking started exploiting the fact and posting TikToks in her home. I don't care how deranged somebody is to show somebody's home address in a video on a live stream to be posting the address. In a video live streaming it, you're a fucking deplorable goddamn person, and quite frankly, she should report you to the police. You clearly saw somebody who was not mentally well, so you thought, hmm, I'm going to take advantage and lie to them, oh. get inside their house, make TikTok videos for whatever goddamn reason in your, your stupid fucking brain, you think that this is normal. Whatever the internet does to you, because I saw you were getting a lot of heat and a lot of negativity on your relatively new TikTok, you deserve it. I don't care who the fuck you think you are, going around grabbing somebody's medication who you literally manipulated them into going into their house resulted in you getting kicked out. But the fact of the matter, you think it's a normal thing to... I, I just can't even fathom. Like, if somebody showed up here and tried to get into this house and a fan showed up at this door, I am not going to be welcoming. Just FYI, I need to make that really clear. I am not going to be nice. And if you try to come on my property physically and I don't know who the fuck you are, the police will be called combined with the video footage of you being released because we have I have cameras everywhere now. Fuck you, Nick. The reason that you're living out of your car, it makes sense. And I realize that some people are going to say, well, you're... Oh, this is getting a little too much for me. I mean, yeah, like, it's shitty, but, like, also, I don't know, if he's living out of his car, what if he has a problem, too, you know what I mean? Because that's what, that, I, that from the short thing that we saw where he thought he was at, if he actually thinks that he's helping her and he's trying to help her, he's fucking, he's fucking deranged, too. He's got a problem, too, just like her. So, I don't know why we're being so extra on this guy as well, you know? Maybe he did do it. I mean, maybe I just need to see more of the TikToks from him, but I don't know. I, I, I feel like this energy is a little disproportionate here. You're trying to defend Gabby Hatton. No. I mean, yes. Yes and no. Clearly somebody's not mentally sane. Somebody on the internet sees that and they go take advantage of that to promote their fucking shitty brand new TikTok, garner views, and act, oh, I'm so concerned for her. Nobody else is doing anything. Seeing that gave me just pure anger and anxiety. Naturally, of course, there are people saying this is a troll. This is fake. This is a setup. She's planning this. Look, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't know. And if it turns out that I'm wrong, I'm wrong. My reaction to this is not genuine in the terms of this is fake. I'll admit that, but I don't think it is. And no matter who it was, if it's Gabby Hanna, Onision, it just, I don't give a fuck. Do not show up at people's homes. It's that clear and simple. The parasocial relationship of wanting to help a YouTuber. We do not want you in our home. We do not want you posting our address. We do not want you calling us on our, your, our cell phones. Rant done.
to all my bad bitches and my good witches. I really need support right now because I did the right research. I performed the right rituals with a clear heart and mind and body and I saved our babies. Like, do you guys understand? Can anyone understand the simulation theory? You guys literally just watched a video game. You don't believe the Jesus theory. Okay, fine. What do you want then? <laughs> My sisters, help me. <laughs> they say the hardest part about going crazy is not knowing if you're crazy and like these, maybe we're all ghosts. Like, yeah, it's all just words. It's all just words. And everybody speaks different languages at different ages. And we never took the time to just stop and read and understand each other and our history. Man, kind. Whoa, man. You guys are boring and dumb. I'm sorry, TikTok. Is that harassment and bullying? I'm sorry. Please don't remove this. It's Candace Owens said that she believes her God gives everybody the perfect struggles to tell their story. Wow. Candace, baby, you're an angel. Candace, baby, you know God. You know that, God, baby, don't abuse your power. Don't abuse your power. It's our God, Candace. Oh my Lord. Our God. And you stuttered when you said it, didn't you? Candace, you stuttered. That's God and you know it. I know you're laughing too. No, 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 no. <laughs> Gabby, you didn't just say Candace Owens. You mean the same lady who spread when the Texas uh, boom boom happened? Uh, she spread false images of the um, perpetrator claiming that they were trans. Or the fact that this person also called for the invasion of the country of Australia by the U.S. government because during the pandemic they had some really, really tough uh, COVID restrictions. I mean, yeah, Candace was an idiot. I just want to be careful about, like, making her seem crazy for liking Candace Owens. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking weird. But I wouldn't, you know, you know what I, it, we're getting into, like, weird territory right now. You know? I mean, it's bizarre. But if she's just, like, hyper-religious... It's almost like a, like a single issue voter type of a thing, I guess you'd say. You mean to tell me that Candace Owens, who promoted that weird ass, I think it was called like the Freedom Phone or whatever, which turned out to be a scam, <laughs> essentially a $500 phone with pre-installed apps, including Parler, Rumble. You know the irony of her trying to promote a fraudulent iPhone knock at, knockoff at like $500 while simultaneously <laughs> tweeting from her very own phone. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean that she's grifting just because the phone was like a bad idea. I mean, it wasn't going to go anywhere. People have like these weird ideas that they're going to be able to. I'm going to take down the iPhone because they're censoring Donald Trump. You know, some people are just fucking crazy and they need to cope. But not really crazy. They're just fucking dumb and think that that kind of shit's actually going to work. Uh, iPhone. OK, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little bit derailed. This is not a Candace Owens video, although I probably should make an X-Files on her. Did you ever notice how some women just have the easiest pregnancies? Fuck. They have the easiest pregnancies and they have the easiest births. And they're like, did it hurt? Really? It wasn't that bad. And you're like, that bitch, guess what? That woman knows God. And she knows that if something that size feels that good going in, but the going in part is what hurts a little, what? maybe giving birth is supposed to be the biggest O oh, crowning of your life. Maybe what? if you breathed and relaxed and weren't anxious about it and had a healthy physical body that you prepared for childbirth and motherhood, maybe it's actually kind of fucking orgasmic. I don't know, maybe. I mean, a lot of people are having unhealthy births. I did watch this weird thing where, like, this woman had an orgasm when she delivered her first baby. It was actually really fucked up. And what was extra fucked up is then, like, afterwards, she had another kid just to try to have, like, another orgasm. And uh, it just didn't work. It didn't work. She didn't have the orgasm. Could you imagine how much she's going to hate that kid? It's fucked up. Maybe having babies and making babies is actually what life is all about. Maybe. Just like nature intended. High value woman, but am I right, guys? Beings got a really sick game. Since I'm up, let's fucking talk. When Jesus was a human being on this earth, he was sent by spirit to teach the people how to use their powers, their healing powers. Okay. No, really. Well. No. <laughs> really. I've healed myself of a lot, and I've healed others. Me too. Sometimes I got a boo boo the other day. Healed, I healed it after a week. My body healed itself. Isn't that incredible? I have a superpower. You could ask. And you could help. Or don't. Who will save your soul if you won't save your own? Oh, my God. Wow. Jesus? Oh, you don't like your planet? 
You don't like your planet, so you want to get rid of it. Beautiful singing. Oh, you didn't like your dog, so you left it on the street. You didn't like your baby, so you killed it. Okay. Yes. What would Jesus do? Forgive. Dead ass. What do you mean? No. Forgive somebody who leaves their kid on the side of the road. Is that what you're saying? (laughs) What the fuck? Okay. Really? It's that simple. The key to happiness is forgiveness without receiving an apology. It's giving love in the absence of love, which is fear. Wake up or don't. I'm here forever (laughs) and ever and ever and ever. So are you. (laughs) Hey, TikTok. Hey, Gen Z, I got a question for you because I can't sleep, (laughs) but I can see. Why are you so accepting of the idea of dissociative identity disorder where little kids decide that they can switch personalities whenever they want and they all have different names and wear different clothes and they have their own little room in the house that you built in your mind and here's how you get to it. I feel like someone else now. Did you fucking meditate and create something with your imagination? It's almost as if you create your own reality. And because you don't have faith in God, and because you didn't just say, God, I'm kind of fucking scared. I believe in you. Will you please only allow me to see what- I thought that she was starting with like, why do people accept DID so much when people are like lying about it? I thought that's where she was starting, but now it sounds like she's saying everybody could have DID and maybe it's a superpower. You want me to see. Please only allow me to hear the truth. Please give me clarity. Well, those last few sentences was very reminiscent of my childhood growing up. You know, just have faith, believe, ask the Lord, ask Jesus, ask God, and he will only allow you to see the light. He will let you see the truth of where you are falling, where you are struggling. He will put you back in line, Daniel. I do want to make it clear that I'm not against people being spiritual, spirituality in general, or even believing in some sort of intelligent design or creator to make yourself feel more comfortable. But when you start propagating, when you're telling your audience, this is what you need to do in order to see the truth, it then becomes a dangerous game to play. Because somewhere, someone down that line. Isn't that what every religious person basically says, though? Like, that just sounds like normal. I mean, I understand you can get radicalized, but isn't that just like every normal like religious ideology is like, you have to see the truth kind of a thing, isn't it? ...is going to take what you're saying super seriously. And every person, myself included, have a responsibility for what we do and say on our platform, regardless of whether our mental health is very, very poor. If that's the case, then you shouldn't be posting frequently on the internet, allowing thousands of fans to worry nonstop about your mental state. That's not fair to your audience. And that's coming from somebody who's been there. I had a mental health crisis when I was 19 years of age on this platform. It made me upload a most irresponsible video, which I've covered in my my Repsion files, me doing something super, super stupid on social media. The influence and effect that you can have on your audience by the things that you put out, specifically in regards to mental health, it can affect people. I wish the best for Gabby Hanna to get help and treatment. And anyone in the comment section of this video, if you are against her getting help, seeking help, please unsubscribe from this channel because that is not what I'm- Well, who would be against that though? You know, like who would be against her getting help? You know, like, I don't, I don't know if anybody would actually be like, yeah, I'm against her getting help. Yeah, I think that she gets, she, she get all the help she needs. She probably has the ability to get that help, you know? Um, you know. I'm about, and this person needs mental health support, not people mocking her and making fun of her when she's having this manic episode on the internet, because it's only going to reinforce and actually make it worse. If you start pointing fingers at somebody who's mentally ill, there is a time and there is a place, not when strangers are showing up and coming to their houses, when welfare checks are being called. It's not the time for your T channels to make fun of somebody who is literally going through something terrible and that we don't know exactly what. That's all I'm going to say in this video. There's a lot of TikToks I did not include. I want to say again, to the right or left, there is a fundraiser. We're going to raise $1,000 for a mental health charity. All of my social links are linked down below. Feel free to join my gaming, keyword gaming discord, link down below in the description. I also have a gaming channel, which I've been posting very, very frequently, almost daily content. I make shorter form content on my gaming channel. If you're not into video games, please don't subscribe. I also have my gaming podcast over there. Overall, thanks for watching this video through all the way through. I know it was a lot and I will see you guys next week for another video. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, man. She might be definitely, she might be going through something. I don't know if it's as serious as everybody's making it out to be. Maybe I'm just missing the mark on this one. Like a lot of what she was saying wasn't really that crazy. It's more, I mean, letting somebody in her fucking house was definitely not a good thing. Somebody she didn't know. That's definitely fucking bizarre shit, but. Yesterday, a very popular YouTuber. Hey, stop. Shut the fuck up. All right.
But hey, maybe I'm just missing on this one. It is what it is, you know? Maybe I'm just missing the mark on this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.